good morning students welcome to artificial intelligence class <coughs> we are discussing the concept reinforcement learning in previous video introduction completed now coming to the first type of the reinforcement learning passive reinforcement learning that is we will discuss in part 2 okay now already we know that the types of reinforcement learning is two types uh, passive learning and active learning two types are there okay coming to the passive learning so what is passive learning so here fully observable environment so what is that this is a fully observable that means we are getting the complete data we are getting the complete information through the sensors through the sensors so consider the policy of the passive learning so already we know that the policy of the passive learning is fixed the policy is fixed in passive learning so the policy of the passive learning is phi <coughs> the state is small s and the action is represented as pi of s okay right so we are applying the policy based on the state we are applying the policy based on the state so that is an action so what is the main goal of the passive learning is how good the policy is so we are applying a policy how good the policy so we are applying my policy one so if the policy getting the utility function so this is the utility function u power pi of s so we are getting utility fully or we are getting some partial utilities in, uh, applied or low utilities so we are applying the second policy so what you are getting you are getting fully uh, fully utility function or partially or low so based on that you are applying the policy okay right so best example see here we consider 4 by 3 world here 4 rows are there sorry 4 columns are there 3 rows are there so here Tom and Jerry game so here Jerry wants to reach the che uh, cheese cheese so this is positive reward plus 1 so during <coughs> during this uh, time so the tom wants to catch the jerry so that is negative reward so the this jerry this uh, tom present in this box she is present in this box this is positive reward this is negative reward so how to move in the 4 by 3 world this is just like a one pass world just like a one pass world here this white boxes represents the movement and uh, <coughs> here this gray color box represents this this is not in use right so what are the actions we are using in this example just four actions are there as usual up down left right okay consider if the environment if the environment is deterministic deterministic means we know everything what is going on so deterministic in the deterministic environment so suppose the jerry starts here so this is the starting point one comma one is the starting point so jerry is started here next uh, so what is the next move here up the solution up so you have to move up next second one up right next take right okay next take right and take right this is the positive solution okay right so one comma one two one comma two one comma three two comma three three comma three and then four comma three so what is the target here four comma three is the target we have to reach that okay right <clears throat> so consider if the environment is stochastic 
determinant determination ki opposite so stochastic means we are we do not know the environment fully okay so here each action so so here each action achieves so here consider this diagram okay up we are moving up means the probability of 0.8 we are moving left or right means the probability 0.1 see here consider the wrong solution okay suppose the jerry started here not here okay this is the starting point so this is the starting point here and take left take left once again left and take one left one up one up and right right down and right and tom catches the jerry so that is negative reward so previous one is positive reward that is a good solution this is negative reward so of course you are uh, the box is visible that's why you are playing very uh, fully but that for jerry it is not visible for jerry it is not visible so jerry will plan so many times so first time it will caught second time it will caught third time it will caught just like a chess game so like that for applying so many actions 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 every step daily so finally it will reach the positive one okay so another wrong solution why is uh, this is the starting point take left and take up and take right okay this is a, another wrong solution so base this is the utility function pi u power pi of s is this is the formula here we are estimating the <coughs> state based on this action so how many actions we are applying based on the time okay right next coming to the subtopic this is the first subtopic here in this passive learning direct utility estimation that means this is the positive reward this is the negative reward okay so we are giving direct utility estimation this is utility estimation this is utility estimation for each and every block okay so how to calculate for example consider the first trial you are applying the first trial jerry trying the first time so for uh, total reward what is the total reward at uh, state 1 comma 1 0.72 and two samples are 0.76 and 0.86 for 1 comma 2 okay for 1 comma 2 0.76 for uh, and 0.84 for 1 comma 2 two samples for 0 0.80 uh, 0.80 for 1 comma 3 so like that for each and for 1 comma 2 two samples are there for 1 comma 3 two samples are there by after applying the uh, where is that here uh, average so see here running average of for each state in the table so 0 0.80 0 0.80 uh, 88 so average so average we are maintaining in 1 comma 3 so 0 0.76 and 0 0.84 we are maintaining average in 1 comma 2 so like that we are applying the direct estimation for each and every trial so we are updating it okay see here this is the first trial this is the second trial and this is the Thought trial. So the second of the three trials given earlier reaches to the three comma two. So second trial in the second trial. So here we are reaching to three comma two, three comma two. So which has previously not visited. So in first state, in first state, in first trial. So the three comma two is not there. It is not visited. But in second trial, the three comma two is visited. So the next transition reaches to the 3 comma 3. Okay, so here 3 comma 3 to 3 comma 2, 3 comma 2 to 3 comma 3. Okay, 
So like that. So 3 comma 2 2, 3 comma 3 2, here to here. And once again here to here. And then go back here. Because here we are getting negative reward. Okay. Right. So, <coughs> so according to the Bellman equation, so 3 comma 2 is also like to do have highest utility. This is, this contains the highest utility because 3 comma 3 direct utility estimation lands nothing to the end of the trial. So, 3 comma 3 kanna manamu 3 comma 2 ke highest utility estimation undundi. Okay. Na? Right. So, second one. The second one in the passive learning is adaptive dynamic estimation. Adaptive. Adaption. 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 What is the meaning of adaption? We are learning. Okay, we are adopting that new thing. So, learning, learning transition model of the environment. So, we are finding a model and we are learning the model and solving the correct corresponding MDP process. So, we are taking the best policy. We are taking the best policy by applying Markov decision process based on the transition model. Okay. Adopt the approach of modified policy iteration. Here, we are taking modified policy iteration. That means, see here. So, first consider the solution. So, so solution is up, up, right, right, right. This is the solution given, but it is written as so, transitions of 1 comma 3 2. How many writes here? 1 comma 3. 1 comma 3 2. 1, 2, 3 writes are there. Here, 3 writes are there. Okay, 1 comma 3. Write. Okay, so we are going to write. So, write, write, write. 2 comma 3. So, 2 comma 3. So, you can inching write kelpoval and rasisamu. Ekadamanka down avogudu. So, 1 comma 3, 2, 2 comma 3, okay, we are taking right option and simply we are taking right action to the next boxes also. So, that is a second one, right. Next, the third one is, third one is temporal difference learning. So, here we are adjusting, we are adjusting the values of the observed state. So, we are changing that means u, u power pi 1 comma 3 value is 0 0.84. So, u power pi 2 comma 3 value is 0 0.92. So, 1 comma 3 value 0 0.84. 2 comma 3 is 0 0.94. So, note on one point for each and every empty box you will get 0 0.04 probability. 0 0.04 probability that's why you are updating the u power pi 1 comma 3 value by adding 0 0.04 into the 0 0.03 so you are getting 1 0 0.04 minus so that's why what you are taking so 0 0.0 sorry 0 0.92 Probability and the negative, negative 0 0.04, that means minus is there, you will get 0 0.08. What is the previous one? 0 0.84. Now, what is the updated one? 0 0.88. So, this is temporal difference learning. Thank you.